Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you an easy way to remove a person from a photo in Adobe Photoshop CC. Go to Tools, then select the Pen tool to create a shape around the person on the right side. Now let's right click the shape layer and select duplicate layer from the list. Hold control key on the keyboard and click the thumbnail of the shape layer to convert the shape into selection. Now go to select menu and choose transform selection from the list. Now you can move or resize the selection freely. Let's hold shift and tap the right arrow key on the keyboard to move the selection away from the girl to the right side in the image. Now click on OK button to apply the changes. Select back the photo layer and go to edit menu and select copy from the list. Don't forget to tap Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then hold Ctrl key on the keyboard and click the thumbnail of the first shape layer to activate the selection. Then select the layer of the photo again and go to Edit Menu and select Paste from the list. Or simply tap Ctrl plus V to paste. After you paste the copied selection, Photoshop may create another layer for you, so we need to group the new layer with the original photo before we proceed. To group the two layers, simply select both of them, or just select the one on the top, then tap Ctrl plus E to group them together. Now I will go to Tools and select the Clone Stump tool. Then I will change the hardness to about 10%. And it's up to you to change the size depending on the size of the spots you want to copy. And change the opacity to about 70%. Now to copy stamps from another spot in the image, you just need to hold the ALT key on the keyboard and click on the spot you want to copy. Then simply click to paste the copied stamps. As you can see, it's easy, I'm just copying stamps from the right side of the image and paste onto the spots that needs to be healed. To achieve a good quality editing using the stamp tool, you just need to work with your eyes and follow the lines that compose in the image. Also, changing the size, the hardness and the opacity of the stamp tool can help you doing a good job. Just keep practicing and experiment yourself with the tool until you get good results. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe.